So in my haste and my excitement to arrive at this location, I forgot to start vlogging entirely. I just got the camera out, started photographing. I even got the drone out and started flying it and get some recordings before I got some weird error message and got freaked out. <sighs> so I'm just so sorry I didn't uh, show you any of uh, my photography or what I was doing, but kind of do it the same all the time. So if you've been watching my vlogs, you kind of know what I'm doing already. Um, not really long exposure, some long exposure, some sort of no more than two seconds, uh, mostly a quarter of a second and even faster because there's a bit of wind around and I wanted to get the grass um, sharp and blow when it was blowing around. I should tell you where I am. Um, I'm at a place called John O'Groats, which is almost as far north as you can go in mainland Scotland, or mainland Britain, if you want to be really precise. Or less precise. Sorry, I'm thirsty as usual, because it's blisteringly hot. Anyway, so I am just along the coast from, to, to the east from uh, John O'Groats, which everybody told me was a sort of meh sort of place. I like it, it's really nice. Um, particularly because this beach is just just there I mean there's I thought I was I didn't know what I was expecting but uh, I sure as hell wasn't expecting what looks to be like the west coast I mean it's stunning it's a sort of sandy white sandy beach and crystal clear turquoise seas that you would expect to get if you were in the Western Isles but here I am on the far north coast of Scotland and that's Orkney over there I didn't realize it was as close to that and in fact there's an island just over there, a bit sort of in the haze, called Farah, which is where that fur monster, where is she there? That fur monster got her name. So, uh, well, it's not because she's been there, we just liked the name and we saw it on a map and thought, perfect. So, yeah, what a fantastic location. I really just can't say enough about this little beach. It's a little slice of perfection. And every now and then there's a really good wave. And it scared the hell out of me a couple of times, but... Uh, so I got a few nice shots, a couple over there with the rocks and a couple over there with the pebbles and some minimalist style ones with that one there and don't know if they'll work out or not and then some wavy ones over there. Um, so uh, I'll probably just show you maybe back to back a few uh, of the shots I've just got here. I think and I'm hoping to have taken away four from this location which is a pretty good haul from one spot. Um, I could be being greedy, so I'll have to wait and see what they look like when I get back. Um, yeah, I just can't believe how stunning this place is. I, I'm so glad I came up, I really am. I was sort of slightly skeptical because I thought the weather would be too nice, but on a location like this, this is when you want it to be too nice. I want it to be nice and sunny and hot um, so that we can see the colour of the ocean. See, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Scotland in weather like this, you can't beat it. You cannot get better just about anywhere on earth. I would put my put my life on that. So we're gonna just wander around. We're gonna get back in the car now and take a drive over to the Duncan's Beast Stacks, um, which are some fantastic large sea stacks just to, just off the east coast up here. Um, now we may not go to them today, but we're certainly gonna go and check out the drive out to the lighthouse. And then we're probably going to go and get checked in at the hotel and just have a wee rest because it's been a long day, it's been a long drive. Um, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm just sad that my wife Veronica can't be here to share it with me. She's in Australia, so she'll probably have similar weather right about now. In fact, she's on her way to Ayers Rock. Uh, so I actually feel like she and I are getting gradually further and further, geographically speaking, not the other emotionally speaking, that would be tragic. No, we're getting further apart bit day by day. I'm going further north. I suppose actually she might be getting slightly closer the further west she goes. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and check out my next location. So I'll probably see you over there. Right, enjoy the view.
Okay, good morning. Well, for the first time in as long as I can remember, it's actually cold. The wind coming from the north east, northwest even, sorry, is bitter. Very, very bitterly cold. Um, hopefully all this, you can hear me. I, in my panic and my mad rush to get to where I am just now, um, left my uh, mobile phone in the car, so I won't be using the Osmo. Um, honestly though, in thinking about it, I don't think it would have worked in this wind. Um, I've left, I can't believe I just left my phone in the car. At least I hope that's where my phone is. Um, otherwise I'll be looking for a new phone. Um, so, I uh, got on with what I did when I got here, with what I wanted to do when I got here without talking to you, sorry about that, but the light was perfect. Um, the sun was shining through a gap in the clouds and hitting the rocks perfectly and the cliffs perfectly. Um, I should probably show you exactly what I'm looking at. These are the Duncansby Stacks and they're just off the east coast of Scotland, the far northeast coast of Scotland near John O'Groats. I've never been up this far before. Um, Oh, I have. I've been on the other side of the country though. I've been in Durness, um, but I've never been uh, to the eastern side. So I'm going to travel to Dunnet Head today and um, also which is the northernmost point of Scotland. Um, so yeah, um, don't feel sorry for Farah. I know you're looking at her and she's tethered to a fence. But it's because you can see there's lots of sheep around. Now she's fine with sheep. She's great with sheep. She never ever bothers sheep, I'm pleased to say. But the farmers and the crofters don't know that, so uh, I don't want her to get shot. As a rule of thumb in Scotland, if there are sheep about, put your dog on a lead. Otherwise, there's a good chance that the farmer could shoot the dog if, it's, if he thinks it's bothering his sheep. Important point to note. Right, anyway, on with what we're here for. So as it's very windy, I can't really run, run a very long exposure. Um, I can only really run sort of a second at the most um, without getting some movement in the image. Um, I'm using my uh, Nisi V5 Pro system again. I'm using the three stop ND and I'm using um, two grads just to darken down the sky. When the light was hitting the cliffs before it was quite a contrast. So. I don't know, I can't, I'm too short to see where I'm at. It's only about 85 millimeters or something like that. I've tried a few different ones, um, two different focal lengths even. Um, 85 millimeters seems to be about exactly what we want. Yeah, it's just 85, 85 mil. Um, that brings the rocks nice and close in the foreground. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, still getting over a bit of a cold. Um, so, yeah, uh, before when the light was uh, bright, it was stunning. It was exactly what I wanted to achieve. Um, and I've also done a panorama as well, just to be on the safe side. Um, but I had to work quickly because the sun was fading fast. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the images in the back of the camera. Um, hopefully they are as good when I uh, look at them on my computer. They look sharp to me. I'm happy with the sharpness. There might be the slightest bit of vibration, but I think that's something that we can easily probably take care of in post with a bit of sharpening. So, oops, sorry. So I'm gonna hang around and see what the light does for a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, and just enjoy the view. There's nobody else here. Why is there nobody else here? Probably because it's piss far early. I woke up at half past four to come down here. So I don't even know what time it is now. I can't tell. I think it's five, five thirty or something like that. Um, so it's pretty early anyway. Uh, I'll, hang on, I'll see if I can tell you. I don't know how to use this camera yet. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. Right, so, um, okay. Uh, hopefully this is all audible and hopefully it doesn't look awful because it's on a GoPro. But I will see you later on today, probably from Duncansby. No, that's where I am now. 
Dunnett Head. Hopefully from Dunnett Head. Uh, unless I find something else cool to photograph along the way. Radio. See you soon. Bye.